Hi everyone, welcome back to Eye Health Central. I'm Dr. John Legaretta, and today I'm going to talk to you about amblyopia, which you might know as lazy eye. This condition affects many people, especially children, and it's important to understand what it is, how to spot it, and how it can be treated. So let's get started. Amblyopia is a vision problem where one eye doesn't see as well as the other, even with glasses or even contact lenses. This happens because the brain and the affected eye are not working together properly. Instead of using both eyes equally, the brain starts to favor one eye, usually the one with better vision. The other eye, the one with weaker vision, is called the lazy eye because it's not being used as much. There are three main types of amblyopia, strabismic, refractive, and deprivation. In strabismic amblyopia, this type happens when there's a misalignment of the eyes, like when one eye turns in or out. This misalignment causes the brain to ignore the image from the misaligned eye to avoid seeing double. In refractive amblyopia, this occurs when there's a big difference in prescription, which we call a refractive error, between the two eyes, like one eye needing a stronger lens than the other. Even if the eyes look straight, the brain might rely more on the eye with the clearer vision. And finally, in deprivation amblyopia, this type happens when something is blocking light from entering the eye, such as a cataract. If the brain doesn't get a clear image from one eye, it will rely on the other eye for vision. The symptoms of amblyopia can be hard to notice, especially in young children. Here are some of the signs to watch out for. An eye that wanders inward or outward. Poor depth perception, making it hard to judge distances. Squinting or shutting one eye. Tilting the head to see better. Difficulty with tasks that require good vision, like reading, drawing, or playing sports. Diagnosing amblyopia involves a comprehensive eye exam. This can include tests for visual acuity, or how well you see at different distances, eye alignment, how straight your eyes are, and refractive errors, checking to see if you need glasses. Early detection is really important because the condition is most effectively treated in children, preferably before the age of seven. Treating amblyopia focuses on making the brain use the weaker eye. Here are some common treatment methods for this. Patching. The stronger eye is covered with a patch for a few hours each day. This forces the brain to rely on the weaker eye helping to improve its vision. It's like giving the lazy eye a workout. Atropine drops. These drops are used to temporarily blur the vision in the stronger eye, encouraging the use of the weaker eye. This is another way to make the lazy eye work harder. Corrective lenses. Sometimes glasses or contact lenses are used to correct any refractive errors. This can help both eyes see more clearly and work better together. And finally, surgery. In some cases, surgery might be needed to fix the underlying issues like cataracts or strengthen the misaligned eyes. This can help the eyes work better together as a team. The most important thing is consistency, which is key in treating amblyopia. Parents and caregivers play a crucial role in ensuring that treatment plans, like patching or using eye drops, are followed every day. With proper treatment, many children experience significant improvement in their vision. Living with amblyopia can be challenging, but with early intervention and consistent treatment, most individuals can lead a normal life with really good vision. It's important to keep up with regular eye checkups to monitor progress and make any necessary adjustments to the treatment plan. To sum it up, amblyopia is a common but treatable condition. Early detection and consistent treatment are essential for improving vision in the affected eye. If you suspect your child might have amblyopia, Amblyopia, it's important to schedule an eye exam with a healthcare provider. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to Eye Health Central for more eye care tips and information. Have questions or experiences to share? Drop them in the comments below. See you next time. Stay healthy, stay informed, and take care of your eyes.